Just stay close. Where, where are they going, guys? The door's to the right. Guys, the door's to the right, guys. D oh. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Filmmaker Tycoon, the only game where you can spend a hundred grand making the movie equivalent of an orphanage fire and still profit $400,000. In today's video, we start our beloved studio, hire talented actors, and harness the power of Hollywood. But with great power comes great responsibility. We're gonna hop in right now. We're gonna start a new game, and folks, it starts with our movie studio. Oh, okay, I, got, I have just the thing. Studio sh <laughs> It's only a matter of time before you see studio sh up in lights. We're gonna be at the Oscars, we're gonna be at the, the Super Oscars. It's really just the Oscars, isn't it? That's, all, that's the only place you go. I was gonna say Emmys, but that's TV shows, isn't it? Studio sh baby, let's get going. Oh, am I- Oh. No, it's just a really slow fade. Wow, that was very slow. Oh my god, and look who it is, the real Joe Hollywood. I heard this whole lot is yours now, you lucky duck. I remember when I was your age, I wish I could see this city the way you do. My name is Joe Hollywood, and I'm here to show you the ropes of the movie biz. You're gonna make it big, kid. You're gonna make it so big the damn stars will be jealous. Let me know if you'd like me to help you get started. Otherwise, happy movie making, kid. <laughs> there it is. You're gonna be a star. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Well, it's true that I don't have any idea what I'm doing. Go on, don't be shy. I'm gonna stand here with one arm up like a mannequin modeling a wristwatch. Okay, so, wasp. Oh, great. Wow, this is quite a lot. Jesus. Looks good, don't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a very big, empty field, Joe. Looks fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna add a building. And yes, sir, screenwriting office. Look at that. Okay, is that the entrance? Hold on. Where's the entrance to the lot, I wonder? I wanna sort of frame it around that. And there is not one. There is not one. There's no way in. And no way out. Exactly how I like it. Everyone who works here is going to also live here. They're going to eat our food. They're going to participate in our elections. Sort of like a, a, a closed circuit. Um, what do you call that? Uh, oh, right. A dictatorship. That's what I'm looking for. Screenwriting office. Let's just go ahead and, and caddy corner this one. I want to caddy corner this one like that. Can I do that? Oh, okay. I guess I had to put <laughs> I guess I had to put it further up. Before the film starts to roll, you need to hire your staff and assign them to their roles. First things first, we need a script writer. Click the hire icon and let's see our options. You're gonna be a stack kid. Alright, so who do we got? Nobody especially high rated, um, off the jump here. And they're all similar actually in everything. Layla Lloyd. Oh, let's read about her. Hi, I'm Layla Lloyd. Flunked English class, mixes up there, there, and there. Had to retake their college English class three times. Doesn't know what a thesaurus is. Sounds like it. <laughs> Right up my alley. Layla Lloyd, you're on the team. Oh, wow, here she is. I, I have her in my hands. Layla Lloyd, as a part of our initiation, we're giving you the ceremonial shakedown. How do you feel? You feel ready? Okay, cool. Now you're getting somewhere, but we gotta have somewhere to shoot, don't you think? To get started in pre-production, we need to build a movie set. You can build many sets across your lot and then choose from them in pre-production. Joe, I have a concern about Layla here. She seems to not know where the office is and is now just traversing our enormous field. Should we tell her? Should we tell her where to go? Modern studio, baby. There it is. There it is. There it is. And I'd like for it to... Let's just go ahead and stop Layla right in her tracks, perhaps? I think the studio should be central, right? We're almost ready to... And start rolling the camera. I don't know that that's true, Joe. Layla's our only scriptwriter, and she's just leaving. She's just trying to leave. She's realizing quickly that she's trapped inside. <laughs> There's nowhere for her to go. She's getting stir crazy, Joe. All right, movie magic button. God, he talks so much, and my throat hurts so bad. Okay, Chip, this is the pre production panel. This is where you want to start the process of bringing your movies to life. So build our scene. Uh, oh, okay, we got to build a scene. Okay, so we have a modern studio. So we have a modern studio. Okay. All right. So what's Layla cooked up for us? Fight Club, A Prophecy Foretold, Trick or Treat, Turf Tensions, and Caught. What's Caught? A criminal is caught and bargains for their freedom. What about Trick or Treat? A date leads to dancing leads to? I like this one. This is, I'm liking how abstract this one is. I'm, I'm hooked. Gonna have to go with Trick or Treat. A date leads to dancing leads to? We have a scene. I guess we should just keep going. Please complete the tutorial to make movies with more than one scene. Okay. So that's, it's just this. <laughs> Not really a movie, is it? Sort of a short film. Maybe even, not even a short film, perhaps just like a YouTube video is really what I, I think this is. But hey, that's cool. I mean, hey, we're, we're making one right now, aren't we? You ever just go to the restroom and then you forget that you put your towels in the wash so you don't have any hand towels to dry your hands after you wash your hands and so instead you wipe it on your pants but then it looks like you peed your pants and you go somewhere in public and people are like, how do you peed your pants? It's really embarrassing. <sighs> Me neither. If you haven't already, let's hire a director while the scriptwriter goes to work. Okay, let's get us a director. Ooh, we have a lot more choices this time. Looks like the director scene's a bit more competitive. Another Layla. <laughs> what if we only hire Layla's? Layla Coleman, favorite game is Just Dance. Thinks everything about them is quirky. Sniffs markers. 
Layla Coleman, get on the team, baby. I'm gonna kick you out of the, I guess, this helicopter. What was that? Why was that the thing? Why am I kicking them out of the helicopter? All right, ceremonial shakedown. Welcome to the team. You can decorate your lot to create a better environment for your staff. A happy crew is a good crew. And you are gonna be a staff. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm laughing alone in my room right now. Looks like your script is hot and ready to go. It's steaming hot as <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just really love Joe. Go ahead and select one of the directors you've hired. I only hired one. Layla, get in there. Now time to pick a camera. Yeah, looks like all we got in the gear room is an old camcorder. Well, so all we have is the shitty camcorder Um, that is literally, like, image stabilization doesn't even, there's nothing. It's gonna look like an earthquake. There goes Layla. <laughs> As you can see, she's f***ing off. She saw the camera and was like, oh, no, I'm not, no, 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 not walking into that. Okay, scene one, time to cast actors. Main character one, 50%, just a guy wanting to have a good time. Main character two, a girl who's flirtatious with an ulterior motive. Let's cast the guy first. I see you haven't hired any actors yet. Let's do that now. All right, we have Terry White. Has broken bones while filming, only watches sitcoms as a momager. Hate that. Reads the script five minutes before filming. Has amnesia. Posts memes on 8gag. <laughs> All these actors suck. Oh, hey, look, Layla's coming back. She's come around to the idea of doing this movie, even with the shitty camcorder. 1% acting score boost to romance and drama, but that's what we need, isn't it? It's a romance. It's a romance movie. And Sean Armstrong is the only option, but look at his stupid face. He looks like Luigi, but it's gonna make our movie better, and so we have to bring stupid Armstrong on. Okay. Lisa Coleman beats the scripts five minutes before filming. Frequently stalks other on social media. That's okay! Those red flags are not big enough to not hire you. We have only two actors, so we know where to cast them. So we can choose his head gear. No, we can't. We can choose his torso body bottoms and shoes. No, we can't. We have nothing. So he's going to look like this. He has a suit jacket on. He has a shitty mustache. He has cargo shorts. Sure to be great. Now, of course, we need our female actress, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa looks ready to fight. All right. Well, there's our cast, I guess. You look like a million bucks and you're going to be a stock kid. Oh, there they go. Look, they're literally sp <laughs> sprinting to be in this film. Guys, I don't know that it's worth it. Is it already? Oh, it's done. It's, <laughs> it's literally, they've already shot the film. Wow. Okay. Let's go to post-production. Please research post-production to post-produced scenes. Oh, I don't have po what? I don't have post-production? I have no ed I don't have no ability to edit? Is that what it's telling me right now? Yeah, there's there's, <laughs> there's I can't I can't post-produce. I have I don't have the technology. Okay, well, looks like we're doing a one-take movie. All right, we're ready for the release hot shot first. What's the name of your big hit? Oh, wait, can I can preview the movie? Oh my god, I can preview the movie. Oh my god, yes. And then Billy took him to the investors to the office help and asked him for tea. He really is a piece of work. <laughs> but jokes aside, today we are staying here because of him, and I could never thank him enough for that. I know it's hardly been a few days, but you make me feel a certain way. A really good way. Take me dancing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. You are a treat. No. I'm a trick. Oh my god. <laughs> just T-pose at the end. Oh, you are a treat. No, I'm a trick. I like to think that we should be an optimistic studio. We should be a studio that's always looking forward, and that's why I think we should set up every single movie for a sequel. Whether or not we deliver on that sequel, completely irrelevant. I only just noticed the speed at which cars drive by this lot. Maybe they're not gonna come by again. Oh my god, did you see that? They're going so fast! And three of them in a perfect line! It's like they were hanging out together. Anyway, we're gonna call this What She Did To Me. One. <laughs> See, because now people will know, okay, they're planning a second one. It's going to build hype. If we always set up a movie for a sequel, well, then people will always be waiting around for what we do next, won't they? What She Did To Me 1 reviews. Here we go, baby. Wow. Oh, my God. Flimsy gave us a 65. That's awesome. I mean, that's shocking, actually. That's over three stars. We didn't deserve it. We didn't deserve it even a little bit. The better you reviews, the more revenue you make, baby. I think that's pretty good for how terrible that move. I mean, it wasn't even... It wasn't anything, was it? It wasn't even... It was just a shot of... <laughs> of whatever happened in there. I don't even think that lights were on. It was just dark and scary. Oh, oh, and now the money's coming in. This is the part that's like Game Dev Tycoon. Wow, are you, wait a minute. We've made 200, we've made $300,000.
what week five it came up we made three hundred and seventy five thousand dollars on that movie wow filmmaking is easy so studio shit is off to an incredible start four hundred and twelve thousand dollars in the bank now and i suppose we're gonna start working on our next movie no oh we can buy equipment okay that's awesome oh see look at this we could get like a dslr that's an idea isn't it well let's get a, a better camera i think we should upgrade by two to the trident 700p let's get that and then let's also get ourselves a lens we definitely need a better lens okay so that's cool so we got a much better camera than that shitty camcorder we were using. We're off to a great start. We have spent $100,000 granted, but you know, it's going to be worth it. Okay, wait, we should add the lab because the lab is only 50000 So we should add the lab in. Uh, where's the door? I can't. Okay, that's the door. Let's put the lab right next to the screenwriting office. Beautiful. There's our lab. Do we need to hire like a researcher? I wonder. Post-production costs $100,000? That's crazy, but I feel like we need it, right? I mean, <laughs> we have to be able to edit our movie. Let's go ahead and get post-production. I need a researcher. Searcher. Uh oh, how do I get one of them? I think I've made a mistake by going ahead and buying the post production thing because now we don't have very much money for our next movie. Knock, knock, Layla. We're going to go back to our same set, our modern studio apartment, and we need a new pitch. So, what do we got? The proposal. A simple date turns into a romantic proposal. We already have romantic actors. This is a great budget movie. We can add a second scene. So, maybe after they propose, two detectives crack a murder case. <laughs> It's brilliant. There's a proposal. They're engaged. Turns out the wife is a murderer. Perhaps she murdered her new fiance. I think that's where we should go. That's two scenes. They're beautiful. They're absolutely beautiful scenes. Okay, so now we can crank it up. We're cranking it up, baby. We have much better video quality now in this movie. That's awesome. We need to cast our actors. Let's go scene one. Let's cast it. This is the proposal scene. So it's going to be very romantic. But then, uh-oh, scene two, two cops come in and they bust Lisa for a murder. I'm going to cast Lisa as the murdered spouse and also the detective that solves her own murder. I think that's kind of, it's kind of symbolic. It's like Hamilton. Okay, done. Great. Let's film the movie. Now, you might be thinking I would call this what she did to me too. However, you'd be wrong. What we're instead going to do is establish a tangential storyline with nothing to do with what she did to me too. What he said to me one. Now we have two franchises budding and that's a beautiful thing. Let's see what they cooked up for me in that beautiful set of ours with our new camera. Oh, it's going to look so good. When I get married, I want to be surrounded by lilies. What else have you planned for your wedding? I want an elaborate wedding in a church, decorated with flowers and <coughs> friends. Sounds wonderful. What else? An outdoor wedding reception looks so beautiful in the movies. The natural setting of trees, lakes, and blooming bushes makes for a gorgeous- What is wrong with all their fingers? What kind of marriage do you want? One that has you as my wife. What? <laughs> I've been planning to do this for a while. There's no ring! <laughs> Will you marry me? Yes, sweetheart. <laughs> what is it? That's the wrong finger, stupid. Aw, oh, what a goofball. <laughs> He's so embarrassed. Oh, but wait a minute. Mrs. Trouble comes Potter? knocking. Oh, detective, it's you. Mrs. Potter, can I have a look at that piece of meat you were about to cook? Oh, it's just a lamb's leg I was about to cook for Robert the other night. Then you must know that Mr. Potter doesn't like frozen meat. And why Ooh. is it covered in blood? Frozen meat doesn't have any blood, Mrs. Potter. Yeah, Potter. The gardener told me that you and your husband were always arguing, that you never got along with each other. So, tell me, Mrs. Potter, why did you do it? That man, he was cheating on me. <gasps> cheating, you say? So you murdered him? He got what he deserved. My but God. Gina Potter, you are under arrest for the murder of Robert Potter. Nice job, detective. How'd you figure it all out? Frozen meat does not have any blood. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what a performance. God, the way that he figured out that she murdered her husband because frozen meat doesn't bleed. Wow. Let's release it. Let's see those reviews. Oh, God, they hated it. The lighting for this movie was atrocious. I felt like I was tied up in some man's basement with only a solitary candle to light the room. Frozen meat does not have any blood. <laughs> But hey, baby, look at this. Look at this. We're still selling copies. Even with a stinker, studio shit is on top. Wow, we actually sold a lot more than even the first one. This is going great. This is going fantastic. Okay, so clearly we need lighting. So they're researching post-production, but they don't have the people to do it. Oh, no, the, the staff. The staff are researchers. Is that right? Yes. Okay, so we have to hire some staff. Let's get Heather. Jump out of the helicopter, Heather. And welcome to the team. Ceremonial shake. 
floppy right down next to the research center and clearly you want nothing to do with it. Post-production's been unlocked. Certainly it's going to become easier, right, to uh, make a good looking movie. Let's just start writing the next movie. A Will to Love has no pitch at all. And that is the kind of movie I'm making here. Wait, why is the genre gun? I, I figured A Will to Love would be a romance, but no, that I, I see now the genre is gun. Well, I definitely want to see what happens now. You know what? Let's not even do two. Let's just do one scene. And let's have both of these scriptwriters on it and see how it turns out. Thank you for letting me in. It's very kind of you to do so in such times of war. I have nothing to lose. It doesn't hurt to shelter a man in need. The enemy troops are closing in. There'll be a boat waiting for me at the downside tonight. Would you like to come with me? It'll be at your own risk, though. Many men have been telling me for weeks. Why? <laughs> what did you do to piss them off? Uh, it's kind of a long story. You can't... Sorry? What, sorry? What do you say? That should be fine for now. Just stay close. Where, where are they going, guys? The door's to the right. Guys, the door's to the right, guys. D oh. <laughs> that is a movie. Again, Oscar bait, at least. Let's see the reviews. Oh, oh, oh! What? Holy God! Potent potatoes! I can sense the spark between these two. Fate brought them together in times of war. That's exactly the- That's exactly what we were going for, Potent Potatoes! 74, I would not give up my firstborn for this movie, but I would definitely give up my secondborn. Thank you, the movie critic. A full turnaround from our last review from the movie critic. Oh my god, and look at the sales. And look at the sales. You've gotta be shitting me. Week three, we went back at it again even harder than before. Wow! $600,000 from that- piece of shit. So we want to have, we want to, we want to be strategic because we want to have two scenes that actually work together, right? And that the critics are going to be happy about here. So a night out could result in a relationship when a wingman sets up a couple. David returns to his Rosa after his, his adventures kept them apart. Imagine this, a night out could lead to a relationship because a wingman sets up this couple, but then, uh-oh, David returns to Rosa, who's just been set up with another guy, thinking that she's been waiting for him. But alas, Rosa has moved on. Sort of a, tr a, a dramatic, it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy, isn't it? That's gonna be moving. That's gonna be very moving. Let's confirm that. Write it up, folks. Let's see, where are, screen where are the screenwriters at? The oh, there she is. Oh, there's the other one. Who's gonna get there first? Who's gonna get first pinned to page, huh? There we go. So he's been at war. That's the adventure he's been on, hence the soldier cap. But he's also trying to impress his previous lover. So he's got some fancy clothes on. That looks fantastic. And of course, Lisa, the same outfit back at it again. Oh my god, we're in the hole. This movie has to be a smash. Gotta be a smash hit. You know what? Uh, I don't think we have money or time to research good post-production, so let's just wrap it up. This is a movie where someone, th their lover leaves to war, they move on, the lover comes back. And what does she say? It's too late, Tom. <laughs> One. <laughs> Preview that, baby. What do we got? Show me the money. When do we start? Seriously? Lighten up, buddy. You just got here. Hey, look, that girl's totally into you. <laughs> Shut up. Don't be silly. No! Don't you dare do something stupid. Come back here. Hi, Mrs. Charming. I've been watching you eyeing my friend here and knowing him, he's already decided on a marriage hall. Without further ado, I'll leave you two alone. Max, Mrs. Charming, Mrs. Charming, Max. The fact that this is inside a studio apartment. You? What are you doing here now? I kept waiting for you. I heard that you became rich and famous and forgot me in your lust and merrymaking. <laughs> but I did come back. I saw you with your child and thought that you must have settled down. I did not wish to interfere with your newly found peace. Well, you are doing that now. What got you back? I got to know. Sullivan told me. Know what? The child is an orphan. You were sheltering a kid in need. I am sorry for have taken so long. I had nothing to lose. It's too late now. It will never be too late for us, my love. It's too late, Tom. It's too late, Tom. That was beautiful. Those two work so beautifully. Those scenes work beautifully. If they don't like it, I'm going to be very sad. Oh dear. Thanks so much for watching Filmmaker Tycoon. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. It helps me out a ton. If you really liked it, subscribe and turn notifications on for more content from me. And why not follow me on social media at Brock St. Clair to keep up to date on all the shit that I do. And until next time, don't forget to throw money at, I mean, if you have it, throw it. You know, that's, I, I feel like that's the big takeaway here. If you got the, if you got it, flaunt it. Let's make movies. All right, bye.